Okay, now let's do the easy stuff. I bring in the backdrop item, then select a square and put in a square here. Maybe 40 millimeters as we said, 38 here and 14 millimeters here. Drop the tool, select everything, go to basic, center selected in the X and Z, drop the tool. We don't need the backdrop for the time being. I can uh, <coughs> select the top poly here, so go and delete it. Next, I select all the edges except the top ones, so Ctrl D select these, perspective, then I bevel this with a round level of mm, 3. This is not going to be a sub D model. Yes, that looks nice. Drop the tool. Now I select all these polygons, go to Polygon Thicken, use the Thicken tool on the blue handle push it in about so it's pretty thin <clears throat> you might play around with the max smoothing angle I think the default is 90 degree and this does not work in some cases I am quite happy with 150 degrees so, how does it look? Good. Now let's make the top. Go to front view, control copy, control V, then hit the E key, control rotate 180 degrees, W key, bring it up to about, let's see, to about here, yes, select the bottom polys, W key, and bring this up to here. Drop the tool. Now I select this, Control X, hit the N key, Control V, put it in, rename this mesh uh, with top. Then I go back to the original one. Control X, N, Control V, rename this one with bottom and rename this mesh with rename interior. Okay, <coughs> pardon me. We don't need to see this here, and let's see, let me make, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven edges here, so I make a circle with 14 sides, about here. Let's make it 3.5 by 3.5, mm, maybe 4 by 4. How does that look? Better. Yes. Drop the tool, then I select this polygon, hit the B key, bevel it in to about here, then I select this geometry, hit the H key to hide it, then go to edge mode, 
select all these edges, hit the R key, flatten them out, and bring them into close to the center, like so. Drop the tool, go to poly mode, hit the B key, bevel this, and delete. Now unhide better. Okay, first I start down here, get rid of the backdrop, and take this vertex here, this vertex, and this one, connect them together. Oops, uh, top view. Select all these words here, the W key, select Control C, drop the tool, select all these here, and R key again. Now we are aligned. Perspective, much better. Now I can take this vertex put it to here, this one put it to here, this one to here, this one to here, this one to here, and this one to here, and this one to here. Let's see. Mm, we need some adjustment here. So go to vertex mode, hit the W key, and tweak this a bit. Now, how does it look? Let's leave it like this for the time being. Now, backdrop. <coughs> yes. Hit the L key, W key. We might center this a bit more, like so. Drop the tool. Okay, so what's next? You know, this inner part here, the tank with the fuel and the flintstone and the spring, with these lighters one can take it out. So it is a separate piece of geometry, I wonder. And here this part is flat, it seems. This part here is uh, going down. So how do... Mm, let me select... No, just these edges, go to top view, uh, let's have a look at the bottom so we get an idea. <coughs> then I hit the set key, activate the tool, hit the R key with action center action center. Let's try. Let's try it this way. Let's see what happens. Drop the two perspective. Okay. Okay. Drop the two. 
now I go to the bottom front view shift uh, C and cut through here drop the tool perspective then get rid of the backdrop I select some points in here, hit the L key, L key, control copy, N for new mesh, control V, hit the F key to flip it, <coughs> and bring this up through here. Now we can go back to the interior. I have, don't need the bottom, just the interior and this new mesh. I will get rid of some edges here. One, two, three. And do the same here. One, two, three. Then go back to interior, geometry, boolean, solid drill, stencil. OK. Now we don't need this one here. And I can get rid of all these polygons. And we should have something which is the size of our tank. But it's not connected at all. It is probably a complete mess. So let's go to side view. <coughs> let's delete these polygons so we only have to work and let me show the words now this is the messy part here this is okay I connect this one to this one this one to this one, this one to here, this one to here, one word, let's go vertex merge, nothing merged, one <coughs> now I select these, then go Action Center screen, That looks better. I must merge these words now. Yes. So let me select that part. And go to vertex, merge fixed point one 